Terry. What you got? We have the story of the year. Do you know Robert Jackson? Robert, you don't mean Robert? The serial killer? Yes. Serial killer Robert Jackson? Yes. Isn't this great? Definitely good. For the ratings. Yeah. You gotta do this. Make it good. Definitely good for our ratings. I will. Robert is a psychopath serial killer. He enjoys killing. He gets off on the sound of torturing and killing his victims. Do you think a man like him regrets his actions? A man like Robert has no remorse and does not regret his actions. All people remain in their chairs. There will be no passing or exchanging of objects. Everybody will remain seated. All hands need to be on the table at all times. Do you all understand? Yes. Robert, do you understand? I got it. Okay, Robert. You want to tell your life story, is that right? You know, yep. You know, you sure are pretty. What was your childhood like? So you want to know about my childhood? You want to know how, about how my parents abused me? How did they abuse you? Why? Does the details of my life make you hot? Does it make your panties wet? This is your story. My childhood wasn't typical. You know, my father would beat on me when he wasn't beating on me. He was beating on my slut of a mother. Um, my dad, he worked for the city. And, uh, you know, we lived in a run-down house. Um, is that what you want to hear? It is your story. Maybe you want to hear how my mother would have, her, have me sleep with her friends for money. Um, you know, but uh, however, I, I only took it for so long. How long did this go? It started when I was about seven, but it ended around when I turned about 15. What happened? I killed him. My father was at work. My mother was in the bedroom. So I slowly went to the kitchen and opened the drawer and pulled out this big old carving knife. You know, and uh, so then I slowly made my way to the bedroom. You know, she, my mother, she was bent over the closet looking for something, crept up behind her. As soon as she turned around, I thrust the knife right into her chest. You know, and then I took the knife and I slit her throat. The sound of her gurgling on her blood, that was so hot. I could remember her blood dra dripping down off my face. It was so warm. It made me so aroused from that. And then, after that, I continued to stab her and stab her over and over. I enjoyed it. When I got done, I took the knife and I cut out her vagina. Ma'am, are you alright? I'm alright. So what about your father? So, um, waited for my, my father to come to work, you know, and um, that's the messy one. <laughs> so, uh, I was behind the door with a frying pan, so when he walked in, closed the door, I hit him in the back of the head with the frying pan. Didn't even clean up the mess from killing my mother. Uh, tied him to the chair, and that's when I began to torture him. Um, you know, um, for him, it was payback. Okay, okay. I get the idea. So what happened then? Jail or what? Uh, you don't want to hear the good part? A little more graphic than I thought. Well, if you think this is graphic, maybe you're not the person to hear my story. I am. I'm just a little blindsided. Uh, well, I was, not, I was not found guilty due to the abuse that I suffered from my parents. Um, but it's funny that you mentioned blindsided because uh, one of my victims, she was blindsided. She didn't see it coming. Um, so, um, you know, she was so beautiful, you know, she was walking and, uh, I came out, the shadows behind her, grabbed her, and, uh, yeah. So what happened then? Well then, I gagged her and tied her hands. Oh, she put up such a struggle. 
and then I threw her in the back of my car and um, she just seen the look in her eyes it was so amazing how did her eyes look oh so terrified you know I mean you could hear her gig you know you, you, you hear her moaning and screaming and look in her eyes just like she knew what was going to happen Mm. You know, and the sound she made was so sweet, especially when I uh, cut her breast off with a hacksaw. Um, you know, the pain she must have felt, uh, you know, and the screams, it was just oh, so much. I understand from the police reports that you would masturbate after each killing. Yeah. Why is that? Um... Cause you know, because each time I did it, I felt myself aroused. I mean, the the feel of each kill I did just made me so sexually hot, you know. And it was just, uh... ma'am, no touching. Sorry, may I take a break? I need to rest. Let's uh, take a ten minute break. Ma'am, are you ready to continue? Yes. Well, let's go. So where were we? You were telling us about your sexual arousal for killing. Look, it's simple. You know, some people like to run, some people like to go fishing, things like that. Me, I like to kill. I get a rush out of it. You know, every time I kill, you know, it, it, it gets me aroused. I love it. I love the, the, the thing of killing. So you feel nothing for the person? Well, you know, if the lady's beautiful, I'll feel a little attraction for her. You know. Do you have a favorite that you remember? I remember all my kills. All of them. But, um, I do have one that was pretty fun. Which one was that? It was about three years ago. And um, she would have been number 10. You know, she was so beautiful, long blonde hair. Say, 
They all say they're not ready to die. They all plead for their life. And they scream. But your scream just fuel, fuels me. my story so obviously you're curious we were curious or at least i was people like you you know you want the story but you can't handle the truth that comes behind the story um you know you live in a fairy tale land i love killing i love doing it you know and that's just who i am so what makes a person do the things that you have done look you know i could sit here and say that my childhood drove it to drove me to it, you know, with the abuse I did, but the fact is, is I loved it. And, you know, loving people killing over and over and over, you know, it's just a thrill. What well, was that it? No. Look, there is people that will use a statement of, my childhood is what drove me to it. You know, and that's not the case with me. You know, um, you know, those people that use that statement, they're just full of shit. Okay? That's not who I am. I love doing it, and I wouldn't change it. Plain and simple. So you don't think that your childhood had anything to do with it? No. People make their own choices. I chose to kill. Could I have stopped? Of course I could have stopped, but I love doing it. Hey, hey, it's not like anybody twisted my arm. Time's okay. almost up. Robert, tell me this. Why do you want your story told? There's the million dollar question, isn't it? You know, um, I want to show people the truth about the real world. You know, there's no rainbows, there's no yellow brick roads out there. This is what life is, okay? And I want people to see through my eyes what the truth is, the things I have done. You know, um, there's people like me everywhere that are waiting in the shadows. One last question, if you don't mind. I know what you're gonna ask. Really? What? Am I am I afraid to die? That's right. How did you know? I can see in your eyes. And no, I'm not afraid to die. I can't control it. We're all gonna die at some time. The question is, when? Time's up. Would you do it all over again? Yes, I would. Just for the record, I would have done you slow. We would have had fun. <laughs> <laughs>